Braid Boss is an Eugenia exclusive. Hey to Braid Boss in charge. First off, if you do not know, I have a braid here for cash course where you can learn how to set up your braiding business and start being booked and braided like right now. Okay? The first thing I want to talk about, not even the first thing, the, the, what, what this is going to be about is, is starting a braid business in 2022 still worth it? Right? And you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> To the year. Yes, it is still worth it to start your braiding business in 2022. Okay? And beyond. Um, I'm going to give you some reasons why it's still worth it. Right? Now, the first reason why it's worth it is it's low cost to start. For those of you guys who do not know, I have a replay where I did. It's $10 where I show you how to start your braiding business for $10 with $10. Okay? It is a low cost entry. So, the reason why it is still worth it is that it only takes $10 to start your braiding business, okay? It's a low cost entry to start. So anybody, a high schooler can start, someone in their mid-30s or 40s can start. You got $10, you know how to braid some hair, you can start your braiding business. So that's the first thing, it is low cost. The second thing is that there's low cost advertising, right? There's a lot of advertising that can take place on Instagram on Facebook and you are going to pay for this advertisement. So advertisement is for an awareness of your brand or of your braiding business and it's to attract people to your brand, not necessarily to convert them to paying clients yet, but it's letting people know, hey, this person in your area braids hair, right? And that at this point is a very low cost entry. Some of us can advertise our business for as low as $5 a day, right? So the advertising is low, right? The third reason why braiding hair is still worth it in 2022 is your marketing is free. If you have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, even Twitter, if you have any of those things, it is free to get on any of those platforms, meaning it is free to talk about your business, to market your business. You can literally get on all of these sites and let people know, I do hair. This is what I do. This is how much I charge. This is how you can book with me. Okay? It is still free to market any business. But when you're marketing your business free, there is a lot of manpower or woman power, whatever your pleasure, okay? Whatever your pleasure. Um, you still have to put some effort behind marketing, but marketing is free still for your great business. The fourth reason why getting into the braiding business is still worth it is you can go mobile. You do not need to be tied down to a shop. You do not need to be tied down to a specific location. If you are willing, and of course take safety precautions, you can start your mobile braiding business today, right? You can start your mobile braiding business right now. So that's another reason. And the last reason that it is still worth it in the 2022s to do the braiding business is a braiding business can always be scaled. You don't have to just box yourself into braiding. That's why a lot of times you guys see me, if you see my community tab, make sure you guys subscribe and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know I'll never be like, oh, subscribe, subscribe, but subscribe to the channel, okay? But in on my community tab, a lot of times I address you guys, I address braiders and natural hairstylists because you don't only have to braid. The thing I love about a braiding business is you can scale your braiding business. On your braid, for your braiding business, you can learn how to do locks. You can learn how to do twisties. You can teach. There's a lot of people who want to know how to braid one on one. You can teach like I teach. Like, hey, let me teach you the game, right? Let me teach you how to do this, how to set it up, how to prosper, how to keep going. So I love a braiding business because in the 2022s, you can still scale your business. You can even start making products. Some of you guys know how to make conditioners. You guys know how to do hair growth oils, hair growth uh, moisturizers. You can stack a braiding business. A braided business is really limitless, right? So those are all the reasons why in the 2022s it is still worth it to start your braiding business. Like, what is you waiting for? What is you playing? Are y'all playing with me? Put your mouth up for play play? Okay. So you guys, again, I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you guys start your business ASAP. And for all of my braiders and my natural hairstylists, happy booked and braided. I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye y'all.